A couple questions. One, how do we, how do I handle post-op pain control for tummy tucks specifically? I use a relatively long-acting local anesthetic called Marcane or Bupivacaine. I put that everywhere I put incisions. It has epinephrine, so blood loss is minimized, and that's good for five, six, sometimes eight hours, depending on how much you put in there. Uh, I'll use that in the skin. I'll use it kind of everywhere that I'm going to do some incision or deeper work. Then in the fascia, the tough stuff that surrounds the muscle for the six-pack zone, because all that gets lifted up with the tummy tuck so the skin can get stretched down, that doesn't like to be hurt. <laughs> and so a lot of the discomfort in the old days was muscle-related, so like muscle spasm, like too many crunches, oh, my stomach hurts every time I move. Now I use Expiril, which is bupivacaine, but in little vesicles that break open over several days, hopefully two, three, maybe even four days of super good pain relief for all the muscle stuff. But we found that if people don't wake up in pain and they don't have pain the first day or two, by the time the pain kicks in, it's really small compared to the fresh pain from surgery. So they're able to mobilize better, the discomfort's less, the other adjunctive uh, drugs that people take are reduced. I don't know, just recovery is easier. easier. Speaking of recovery, uh, in terms of, for most tummy tuck people, how long before they really feel like they're back in the swing, energy's up, and they can do most of their functions probably four to six weeks. I don't let you do any gym work for four weeks. You can't do even planks for six and then crunches are eight. So somewhere in that four to eight, maybe around six, is um, what most people need. If I had a patient very specifically wanted to be able to go out of town and be super mobile for Christmas, she had surgeries a couple weeks ago um, just so she knew she'd be recovered. Things to think about.